Hey guys, thanks for clicking on my video. Look at this gorgeous Seattle sunshine. We've actually had um, quite a few days that were super nice like this, so I've been enjoying that quite a bit. Hoping you guys are doing something enjoyable for the holidays. Mr. Botana Babies and I stayed home and I think we watched, we like, we're binge watching Shameless for now. <laughs> and um, what else did we do? I feel, oh, we made cinnamon rolls so good. But anyway, in today's video, I just wanted to show you guys some updates on some of the house plants and also some of the cuttings that I have. I'm also going to be showing some food related content as a few of you did show some interest on that. So anyway, before we get started, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing if you like houseplant related um, stuff and if you want to become a better plant parent. So anyway, let's first start off with my daily coffee routine. I'm going to welcome you here to my coffee corner. This is kind of the area that I've actually since rearranged because a lot of the mugs were just in the way. So I can kind of move them to the other side of my kitchen. But generally, this is where I keep all my syrups and my creamers. Yes, I do add all that stuff to my coffee. As you know, I've been on a sugar binge lately, and so definitely not going to stop at my coffee. So just for your awareness, this is not that many pumps. It's just that I switched out the syrup bottle. I accidentally bought a sugar-free um, syrup when I went to the store, and it was disgusting. I think sugar-free items, no offense to those who like sugar-free stuff, but I think they are so disgusting. They taste like poison to me, so I had to switch out the pump because I only have three pumps. And so I switched out from that bottle to the other one. So there's a bunch of air bubbles. Anyway, I'm sitting here trying to justify all the sugar I've been having. <laughs> anyway, I recently also switched to this type of creamer because I was, um, I, I'm not sure if this contains any dairy um, because I was consuming dairy stuff before and it was making me break out really bad, but I am liking that type of creamer. Anyway, you guys, if you are not yet on the Nespresso bandwagon, I highly recommend you do so. I, a few years ago, upgraded to a Nespresso from a Keurig and I don't know what took so long. I mean, I stopped going to Starbucks altogether. Not that I really enjoyed Starbucks coffee. I think Starbucks coffee is kind of gross actually, but it was just like really convenient. But I've since stopped going because this is satisfying all of my coffee shop um, needs. So these are two new flavors that I'm showing you. It's the peppermint pinwheel and chocolate fudge and they taste so amazing. I mean, honestly, it's like being, it tastes like an espresso and this is not they do have like double espresso and espresso pods. Like basically you can get different size pods for different types of coffee and it's just, it's so amazing. Anyway, I have this every day, um, sometimes multiple times a day. I just cannot get enough of an espresso. <laughs> stuff. So this is the virtual line. I've been considering getting the original line because I love it so much, but they didn't really have a lot of good deals this year, um, even for like Black Friday or for Christmas. Even for this line, I was considering getting a backup machine because I did give my old one to my dad. Um, and I think that one is on its last leg. But anyway, I'm showing you here. Have you, Did you see that beautiful crema? So here I am adding the crema back into the coffee because that is apparently where all the like nice fatty acids are. So I do want to enjoy it along with the whole cup. But Anyway, on to the plant updates. My coral berry ardesia is surprisingly not as festive as it was last year. You can see that some of the berries are not fully red, and last year they were like perfectly red um, during Christmas time. So I'm not sure if it has anything to do with the fact that it is staying warmer um, later in the year here in Seattle. So I don't really know if that has anything to do with it. But if you're interested in this plant, I'll link a video of, uh, that I made here. If you live in a tropical area, do not plant this outside because it is an invasive species. And so it's going to take over your whole backyard before you know it. So I also want to show you that I completely cleared out this plant stand. As you know, it has been a goal of mine over the last couple of years to downsize my um, plant collection. And so I decided to remove this altogether. The plant stand is downstairs with no plants on it. And I went ahead and moved my ZZ plant here because it is going to tolerate like being in the shadows of these other plants a little bit. And so I actually, I think that's where it used to be um, several years ago before I even moved it. So it's back where it was. So in my last video, I made mention of my pilea, the mama plant that's not doing well, and here it is. So it looks okay um, from this clip, but honestly, a lot of the leaves are just turning yellow really quickly, and they are not the very bottom ones. And so I'm just kind of concerned. This probably is going to be the last time you see it. Um, it depends on whether it can hang on through the, <laughs> the winter months. But here's a, big, a bit of good news. Um, you can see here some pups that are coming out of my uh, mama plant. 
uh, of my moonshine sansevieria and so as you can see the soil is a little bit compacted up at the top but the moment that i started seeing it crack a little bit i knew that was there was something going on in the inside so as you can see it just kind of um, comes up from the soil as an extension of the mama plant this is going to be the fourth and fifth pup that i've harvested from this mama plant but i'm going to keep these two pups in here for a long time i'm probably not going to do anything with it until the summertime um, but i'm keeping it alongside the pups that i harvested from it uh, earlier on in the summer as you can see it's they're just here um, at the bottom of the windowsill and i am trying to keep them in a similar area because they do like like, apparently like the sunshine that they're getting um, in this area of my house. So anyway, I've apparently been doing a terrible job at keeping a close watch on my cuttings because when I looked over um, my windowsill, I saw that a couple of the jars I had of these variegated rubber tree petioles were completely dry and empty. So I've been doing a terrible job at changing out the water. I do recommend you changing it out once every week or every two weeks, but I <laughs> I don't even know how long they've been sitting there empty. And so obviously I rushed to their rescue and some of the roots are even growing out of the jar and they're even adhering to the backs of the leaves but um, they're still doing pretty well they were not completely dried out and so I think that they're going to continue to grow again somebody did leave a comment saying that these are never going to turn into plants they're just going to continue to grow as a leaf but that just totally broke my heart man because I was hoping that I would have a bunch of um, variegated rubber tree plants <laughs> that I could give away but we'll see I'm still holding out hope that maybe there will be a miracle because some of my peperomias have grown in entirely new plants just from the petiole, so I am holding out hope. Okay, so speaking of peperomias, here is a parallel peperomia cutting that I've had sitting in water for quite a bit, and it's growing a whole new plant. So I realized that this is from a whole cutting and not just from a petiole, but still, this has happened with just petioles. And so <laughs> anyway, um, again, here are the cuttings. I did wash every bit of them. I separated a lot of my um, crinkle leaf or my Hindu ropoyas because again, as with the um, rubber tree petioles, they started, the roots started to get all tangled up with each other. And I was just concerned that I wouldn't be able to break them apart when I'm ready to plant. Okay. So anyway, guys, here's some food related stuff. Brussels sprouts are my staple side dish in almost every meal. I literally eat Brussels sprouts like almost every day. I love it so much and it's so super healthy for you. So every week I also cook a big batch for my dad because he's diabetic and I'm also trying to get him to eat healthy. So I chop up what feels like a thousand of these every week i do cut up the bottom parts i don't know if everybody does that but i just i think it's gross i go through each and every one and cut off like bad stuff i also remove like the outer layer on some of them because they're they i mean they have dirt on them you know even though it says ready to eat pre-washed triple washed or whatever i don't trust that anyway let me show you how I, how I prepare them so also i use um foil on top of all my baking sheets so i don't have to hand wash them they're too big to go into the dishwasher um they hit the little um water spinner thing i don't even know what that's called but anyway um yeah that's what i do so i'll fill up two of these baking sheets and each of them i will lightly line um here i'm showing you i do cook them at 400 degrees I like my Brussels sprouts crispy, but my dad doesn't, so I will just accommodate his likings. Um, so I'll lightly coat it with oil and then salt, very lightly salt and pepper it. And again, at 400 degrees, I will cook them for six minutes. And then um, once six minutes is over, I'll go ahead and toss them, give it a nice toss. And once I feel like they've been properly rotated, I'll go and put them in again and then for another six minutes. And then after that, I will set it to broil for two minutes and then I'll take it out and rotate it and then do another broil for two minutes just so they're evenly cooked. Um, and I do like that burnt crispy outside. <laughs> and so you guys, this is so freaking delicious. This will be my um, side dish. Almost everything that I eat, sometimes I'll alternate and switch it up to broccoli, but otherwise I love Brussels sprouts. So for the week, I've meal prepped some kimchi fried rice, which Mr. Batana Babies doesn't really like, but I love it. I think it tastes so good. I love kimchi. And so in here, I didn't show you how I made that. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to show you what I cook um, throughout the whole process, but this tastes so delicious i did also add some kale so or rather i guess clear you out i don't know what will but anyway guys look at this cool medusa patch that i found on amazon i have i think that this looks just like me honestly <laughs>
I was like, that that patch looks like me. So I decided to get it and then add it on a sweater and then also do a little bit of beading, you guys. What do you think? I don't know where I'm going with this pattern or what I'm going to do, um, but it's still in progress. So let me know if you want me to show you my beading work. But anyway, this week I also managed to get some workouts in. But otherwise, I've just been playing around with my little doggy because he has so much energy. And I'm really happy that he is feeling a lot better. So I'm just making sure that he's fully entertained. I play with him for what feels like hours, literally. He does not stop all day long. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Next week, I'm going to be posting how to germinate an avocado seed. I know I've been posting updates about that um, over the last few videos, but I finally just put together a, a whole video on how to do it from scratch. So apparently January is one of the best times to be eating avocados because the oil in the seed is like highly concentrated, something like that. You know, I picked it up from whatever article I was reading at the moment. But anyway, let me know what you think of my video if you want to see more cooking stuff or just to cut that out entirely and just keep it completely plant related. You know, my plants only grow so fast, so I got to um, add something else. And the, at the rate that they're dying, I got to <laughs> add uh, different types of content. But anyway, guys, Hope you're taking care. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, goodbye.